In your student information book, you'll find a copy of a paper by Sally Johnstone titled Principles for Developing Competency-Based Education Programs. In this video, we'll be highlighting five of those principles that fit CCCS's purpose in developing competency-based education. Principle 1. The degree reflects robust and valid competencies. A robust and valid competency or course learning outcome is industry-driven and academically sound. It fits within the CCNS guidelines, but once mastered by a student, an employer will be able to recognize that skill as useful in the workplace. Principle 2. Students are able to learn at a variable pace and are supported in their learning. One of the most valuable aspects of CBE is that students are able to move through the curriculum at an individualized pace. To support these individualized students, just-in-time academic assistance and other support must be provided to keep them motivated and academically on track. Keeping to a fixed term is required for tuition and financial aid. However, learning activities must vary within that time frame. In a CBE course, students will need to progress at a reasonable rate. This means that students will need to have access to both the course materials and to faculty who step in when they need help. Since students move through the material at their own pace, it is imperative for faculty to be able to identify when a student is struggling and to have an action plan ready to go when those situations are identified. Checking in regularly with students is essential and will help identify situations where faculty assistance is needed. Since monitoring all students' satisfactory on-time progress, or SAP, is a requirement for financial aid purposes, we can use this global measurement to determine if most students are meeting the requirements. If a number of students aren't performing well, then steps need to be taken to assist the students. This might also mean that the course material needs to be reevaluated and possibly revised. Principle 3. Effective learning resources are available anytime and are reusable. In Principle 2, we touched on the topic of the availability of the learning resources. In this principle, we will delve further into that topic and will discuss effective learning resources. An effective learning resource is high quality, engaging, accurate, at the appropriate level of difficulty, and is well matched with the learning outcomes defined in the course. In order for the material to be available asynchronously to the students, they should not be designed or developed for use in a single term. It is critical that these learning resources help students master the required competencies by tracking how well students are doing on the assessments. If they are not as successful as expected, the resources should be reevaluated and adjusted. Principle 4 The process for mapping competencies to courses, learning outcomes, and assessments is explicit. Once competencies are established through the CCNS and courses are created, the learning outcomes will then drive the selection of learning resources and assessments. It is critical to have a well-defined process in place early in the development of a CBE program with identified individuals responsible for each stage. This will help identify who needs to be informed if any changes need to be made. An independent evaluation should also be put into place to verify that the course competencies are fully reflected in the course outcomes and matched to the assessments. Principle 5. Assessments are secure and reliable. Assessments need to be developed using the expertise of industry and academic subject matter experts, thus ensuring content validity. Once assessments are created, they need to go through pilot testing with a small group of students to reveal any problems that may exist. This pilot testing will ensure that the assessments use clear language and that the evaluation rubrics work. Assessments, or milestones as we like to call them, can range from demonstrations, projects, research papers, and objective tests. Tests should be delivered face-to-face -face or in an online proctored environment. For student demonstrations, projects, and papers, a well-defined rubric is needed to evaluate the submitted work. The scoring rubric sets coherent expectations of criteria and descriptions of levels of performance. Now that we have gone through the five principles of competency-based education, we hope that you now understand what a CBE program is and will be ready to take this knowledge further in our face-to-face -face workshop.